All right, before we start, let's talk to Keitel real quick. These are precarious times. I came to see an end to Callus once and for all. But, and I say this with considerable restraint, we are not ready. <laughs> I've witnessed a great many patriarch of the Cabal Empire poisoned by obsession. Gaul with the light, Callus with the darkness. I worry for Osiris. Recklessness can manifest into obsession. He must rein in his tempestuousness to hope to defeat Callus. So in war, the way is to avoid what is strong and strike at what is weak. Like, it's, it's concerning because, like... It'll, it'll get to a point where people are not doing it or people just don't want to do it. So that's why I'm like a little sad or nervous about it. I'm just going to leave my camera up for a bit since. So, going directly after Talon kind of blew up in our faces. We need to be looking at the bigger picture. We want to protect the veil. We first and foremost need to protect the cloud arc. Rohan, I think we're still a little fuzzy here. What exactly is the cloud arc? It's our city's network. Our infrastructure, our people, our defenses, everything depends on it. And what we're doing now is stopping the Vex from siphoning energy from the Cloud Arch reactor. We do that, the Veil's safe, the Neomuni are safe. Bing, bang, boom. Neomuni? is on Rohan. Make your way to the Cloud Arch reactor. We'll head to the central power junction. Once you cycle the system, we'll be able to return power to the reactor. We're on it. Neo Mooney. Well, he says he. It's, I mean, like, I shouldn't say shit, but, like, the way it's pronounced, it's Neo Muna. Mooney, Muna. I don't. Fuck. Jesus Christ, bro. Alright, well. I already tell you, I'm gonna hate this. To be fair, I'm not the biggest fan of Vex. Vex pissed me off. Like, actually pissed me off. It's the fact that they teleport. That shit's just so irritating. Like as a motherfucker, bro. All right, I'm gonna put my camera down. I feel like it's just more cinematic without the camera. Jesus Christ, bro. I get it. You're a fucking asshole. Cool. Really, dog? I fucking hate wyverns too. Wyverns are such an annoying piece of shit in this game. I mean, to be fair, just <sighs> Vex in general are just annoying fucks. Oh, good. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Oh. Castle still alive. Yep. I'm no, I don't care. Fuck you. Just get the fuck away from me, bro. Just fuck off. I'm so done with you. For the Neo Mooney. All our citizens have uploaded their consciousness into the Cloud Arc. No Cloud Arc means lights out for everyone in Neo Muna. Ah, huh. so. 
so it's bad. Got it. What? Oh. That's another one of those pockets of darkness energy. Should we get a closer look? Oh, did I just fuck up? Nope. That's fine. Hey, it worked that time. Why did it work that time? Huh. It's like you're pulling on some kind of invisible ropes. I'm detecting those sources as a concentration of energy coming from a common source. It's got to be the veil. Can I? Like some sort of magnetic field all around Neomuna. Let's keep an eye out for more of those. Excuse me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I'm contacting Destiny. Is that is that why I'm, this is happening? Or did I do this wrong? You really did not expect me to do this shit, right? Like this is the way you expected me to do it? It seems like for <laughs> My way was just faster. Oh. Well, you know. What the fuck? Everything's destructible? I definitely better not hear people. You should have done that. Ain't no. Since when the fuck is a. <laughs> Destiny's never been that type of game. I don't want to hear that shit. It's a little weird, man. I feel like I shouldn't be destroying this shit. I feel like this is important to Neo Muna, but I mean, whatever. Jesus Christ, bro. That's cool. I love that finishers take a million years and I'm so fucking, uh, I, I should have just killed it with, with my fuck. I don't know. Whatever. That's my fault. You know what? I think, you know what, uh, you know what it is. I'm just hungry. Like I haven't eaten eating all day. I'm probably just cranky at this point. Yeah. Cause I, I've been awake for since like 10, I think, and it's, it's like about to be four o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. So I apologize if the wine is annoying you guys, but I just need to eat something. Once I eat something, I feel like I'll just mellow out. I feel like I'm acting like, like fucking Osiris right now. Eat my ass. Well, that and, uh, Vex genuinely pissed me off. Like I hate them. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys too. Oh, that's that's good. Definitely need more than okay. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Let me get some more shield. I appreciate it. <clears throat> bro ain't no fucking way bro oh my god it's also fucking terrible that his hits take so much fucking health. I promise you, bro. Once I get this super, fuck you. Oh my God. Fuck you so much. I hate that boss so fucking much. Not even boss, just that enemy type in general just pisses me off. I think it's a terrible enemy design. All right, so let's. Let's do that real quick. 
Um, 64, you know what? Fuck it. Cause I want to keep that, those boots. <clears throat> also, I just realized, um, uh, let me see this. Cause this shouldn't work, but I mean, I never know. <gasps> it fucking does. Oh my God. And scratch us. That's, that's, you'll have to see that shit. See, this just immediately makes it so much better. Cause now I can just do this. Oh yeah, that's oh my god, dude! I'm so happy we have shit like that in the game now because it just makes that type of shit just m so much more palpable. Because now I can just fucking do that instead of having to go through each of the loading the menus and whatnot. All right, I'm feeling better now. Like, yeah, All right, we should be good. I feel like I shouldn't be just destroying their shit like that, but whatever. You know what? That's probably why shit hurts, because I'm super low level. But I'm pretty sure I can't over level on Legend, right? Calibration. Um, excuse me, sir. Done. Eat my ass. Am I done? Hello? Oh. Guardian, I'm almost at the central power junction. Ready to blast this power back um. to the cloud arc once you've cycled the system. Hold on. Let's be circuiting voluntarily. You'll have to clean up those Vex complexes before heading to the reactor. We haven't observed this kind of behavior before. Hope you're taking notes, Nimbus. On the headless robot dam? Yeah, I've seen it before. There's gotta be a way for them to create a gateway to the cloud arc. Or express themselves emotionally. Mm -hmm. I can say, honestly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Did that get you? I think that got you. Ooh. Okay, cool. power output is um, unbelievable. Earth was decades away from technology like this, even during the Golden Age. The Cloud Arc needs a lot of juice. Like we said earlier, it supports all the Neo Mooney, the city's defenses, and also the Veil's defenses. Once we get that power, we'll have all the backup we need to take back the Veil from Kallus. That's good. We're going to need all the help we can get. Oh. Bro, I love the area of design. So cool. You don't break. <laughs> Just making sure. You know, I just realized, um, I totally forgot to do this and people might be like you're weird but i have music off no wonder it's been so quiet i mean let me turn the music on real quick all right so that should be it <clears throat> I should probably explain the reason I have music off in general is because uh, I like to like listen to music while I'm playing Destiny 2 and I just don't like hearing the Destiny 2 music with my music so that's why I usually have it off also sorry if you hear my cat well not my cat my girlfriend's cat uh, he's pooping right there we're doing something in there I don't know what he's doing That it should be it. Oh. Oh 
shit. I'm not expecting you guys to spawn back here. Fuck you. immediately red I guess I don't know that didn't hit him oh my god bro push to the reactor ducks in this game or in this uh place i was about to stand on that that would have been a fucking mistake all right Go invisible real quick so that way i can uh get a reserve shield and immediately fucking use it Dick to that guy. <clears throat> We're doing good so far. There probably will be another area that I have to fucking Jesus Christ for this dude. taking forever shit bro oh my god that's absolute fucking trash bro i think that's what happened interesting What's happening? Where is the red over here? I'm not gonna waste ammo on non crits. There it is. Jesus Christ, bro. Good so far. I'm pretty sure the exit's here. I'm in place, and I can see you're coming up to the reactor. Stop the backs from siphoning the station, and we're golden. I wonder why I have to do this. This is the last one. Well, I have overshoot, so it don't matter. That's what's pretty funny is repulsor brace gives me overshield, but I also have this gun that gives me overshield. Like overshield for days, bro. Alright, once let's just use it right now. Now I got overshield or reserve. Hello. The fact this piece of shit has a, has a stomp always pisses me off. I'm like, what? What's he stomping, bro? There's nothing to. St Whatever. Oh, 
Easy for you to say, ghost. You're not doing this shit. I am, you piece of shit. Alright, let's uh, upgrade this for sure. Like so, yeah, for sure. More helmets. What's the goal? Um, oh. I gotta kill these guys first, I think. Mmm, that was unfortunate. This fucking LMG is wild. Yeah, fuck you. I mean, like, when you combine it with Girl Falcon, it's just immensely fun. There we go. I, I missed the strand thing. I mean, that'd be that'd be cool, bro. But I don't have strand on right now. Okay, that makes sense. Um. Ooh, they don't boat. Man, don't fucking. I want to use Strand again. Um. There's two of them. There's two of them. There's two of them. It's a good thing I have uh, Overshield, which I'm called. This might be a uh, rough. <laughs> I, I saw from the corner of my eye and, and my balls just went inside my body so fast. I was like, oh shit. Ah! Okay, okay. Like trying to kill everything before I fight these assholes. Um. Bro. Alright, let's. You know what? No, I'm not gonna kill that dude first. Jesus H. Christ. Um. Where is... Oof, 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 oof. Did I get him? No, I did not. Alright, one's done. Or I got one, which is what I wanted to do. Christ. I'm waiting for my super, like the good little lad. Oh, I was looking for you. There we go. I've got both. 
<clears throat> Finishable. One down. A lot more enemies to go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't. I am. Shit. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, there we go. I'm done. I can't wait to like fucking get the shit. I want to start just using it. Oh shit. Okay. It's valid. Great work, everyone. That's what I call a well earned win. Nimbus visited. All right. Damn, that was barely chapter two, dog. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's find out. Um, Where the fuck would triumphs? Yeah, it would be in the trance, right? So chapter two, Ugh. I'm guessing, um, so chap two, chip four chapters, I'm guessing. Oh, like magnetic pole. You've been busy. Well. For so long, we saw Dark and Light as antagonists. We believed we were the champions of the good because we wielded the light. If these are not moral forces, if they are not opposites, what are they? At its root, the Traveler is a terraformer, a, a gardener. It generates natural light, physical transformation at a molecular scale across whole planets. This should have been our first hint. The domain of the light is the domain of the physical. The darkness then is revealed in many facets. Dreams and nightmares, emotions, pain, memory. The nature of Strand confirms this line of thinking. Darkness is something entirely apart from light. A paracausal union conjoining intangible conscious realities discursively linking to you're talking about the river of souls river yeah it's a story we tell kids on neptune a nursery rhyme sort of since before history there's been this raging river in the story some try to divert the river others try to build a dam but nothing stops it lots of people have believed that we either sink in the water or learn to swim don't we? See, that's the real wild part. We are the river. And empowered by it, it would seem. You know, I think I know of a place where we can find some of that power.
All right, now we got to go talk to Nimbus. Um, pretty wild. So, like, can Osiris use Strand? Because it looked like he was able to use it or at least manipulate it. Um, I would assume he could. I mean, like, to be fair, I just I'm expecting him to, like, get his light somehow, some way or get empowered some way. Like, I don't expect him to be lightless forever or without power, I should say. I talked with Osiris. You know, he gives off uptight museum volunteer vibes, but he's a nice guy when you catch him one on one. What did he just say? He got me thinking, which is a compliment I can give very few people. There's a place nearby you two might find useful for your strand stuff. I'm gonna get you the coordinates. Speaking of compliments, you, you never fail to amaze me, you know that? Everything that's come at us, you're just like, oh, bam, poop. You're kind of a big deal. And suddenly, whatever's coming at us ain't coming at us anymore. And we just keep doing it like it's nothing. Wow. The first time Rohan told me I did a good job, I'd given up hoping for it. And by the time I got it, I didn't need it. In hindsight, I think he did that on purpose, but whatever. I promised myself I'd do it different when I took over. The old man might think compliments go straight to your head. But if that helps you strandify and us take down Callus, by all means, let it go to your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Interesting. Um. Oh, shit. Coming right up. That's not a Neo Muna Ingram. These are not Neo Muna stuff, you fucking liar. Um, all right. Guess we gotta go do the next mission now. Wait. Oh, the elevator. It's over here. Wait, do I have to? I guess I gotta go talk to Osiris first. He might be like, Guardian, I'm sorry I've been a be I've been a cunt all this time. It's just I want power and I miss it. I'm also just a cunt in general. Like he really is, bro. I'm sorry. Like I'm sorry for those uh, Osiris fanboys, but like, yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. My clan is pinging the fucking shit out right now. To be fair, the expansion just dropped, so it makes sense. All right, Osiris, what's up? Upon first glance, this new power appears unstable and chaotic, but I wonder if that's based on our approach. Too much, too fast. These Puka creatures are curious ones. They appear semi-organic, but Nimbus claims they're a form of artificial intelligence. A fascinating, albeit odd, being nonetheless. Their attraction to this paracausal power seems instinctual. They flow in and around it effortlessly. And very clingy. These boots look cool as fuck, bro. Oh. When I first realized you were from Earth, I remembered the stories. The mortal light bearing warriors chosen by the traveler, like figures out of myth. But what do myths care about ordinary people? I imagined warlords conquering Neomuna, gods crushing us underfoot. I was wrong. Now, when I see you, I see a comrade in arms. Someone who will stand with me to defend Neomuna and its people. I see a guardian. All right. Um. Hey, uh, I have a message here from your vanguard's commander Zavala asking about you. He's probably attempting to check in on my physical and psychological status. You do that kind of thing often? He and the saints and Ikora are concerned for my safety. If no longer carrying the light as I did, has transformed me instantly into a fragile elder. Sounds like they care about you, old bird. It's sure rough to be stuck with supportive friends, huh? I imagine from your perspective, I must seem terribly ungrateful. You know, when I first got the full set of mods, I was making friends with the ground every five minutes. It takes a second to find your balance sometimes. So it does. I the reminder. To all the cabal who still follow the Empress Kaifu, stand aside before your Emperor, whether you lay down your arms or join with my 
We should probably see if Nimbus can disable that radio frequency. That's some big ass talk for someone who went to someone else for power. Like, okay, dog.